It's been a very, very long while since I've been here. For those of you who've been watching for a while, you recognize this as the build battle on Hypixel server. I used to do this all the time this game and I thought it'd be fun to revisit. It's, it's been seriously a long time since we got to play this. And instead of doing a tutorial, I thought it would be fun just to do a little bit of a gaming video. And so you guys could watch how I was stressed out during these, these speed build battles and everything. If you guys do like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. For those of you who are new, this is your Microsoft 238. I usually do building tutorials and that sort of thing to bed today. I wanted to change it up just a little bit. If you guys do like this, I can do more videos like this more often. Just comment down below whether or not you'd rather see build tutorials or gaming videos. But with that said, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna join the pro mode because I do like having a bit more time to build. And let's join this. For you guys, I will skip the waiting as always because it's never fun to wait. And then we'll jump into some build battle. It's gonna be fun. And the options we've got to vote are gonna be flying, medieval, apocalyptic, sci-fi, and rustic. And I am actually gonna go Ooh, these are some really, really good ones. I'm gonna say flying, because I have no idea what that would entail, but it looks like sci-fi has won. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start getting some concrete out, because sci-fi with concrete is always a good idea, and I'm probably gonna model kind of after. Ooh, uh-oh, uh-oh, we don't have those blocks. Uh, let's get our quartz then. We're gonna get some quartz, and I keep forgetting that this is an older version. We don't have, do we not have quartz block either? Oh no, guys, this is not good at all. Terracotta? Do, do, do we have terracotta? Please have some terracotta. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna change the floor, first of all, to... We're gonna do gravel. I don't know why, but I wanna do a gravel block. It's been a while, so I might be a little bit rusty with this today. I don't know, we're gonna see how it goes. And the very first thing I'm gonna do is create kind of a square, more of a modern looking shape. I might change the ground up a little bit too, just because I'm not sure I like this gravel too much. But let's start, let's just start adding in some details. I think I'm gonna go for kind of a factory looking thing. And I will resemble, if you, if you guys have seen my base tutorial where I had this like sci-fi base and everything, I'm gonna be resembling that very, very much or not resembling it, but just like modeling it because it's the best I can do with sci-fi. And, and I feel like that kind of has a good sci-fi flow to it. So let's have this go down maybe right there. I don't know if that's an unfair advantage or not. But you know, it's it's uh, it's a little tool to help me out just a little bit because it's been a while since I played this game. I always forget how how intense it gets when it starts counting down the timer and everything, and it always makes me a little bit nervous when playing this game. Not not gonna lie. I think what I'll also eventually get is iron blocks because I'll add a lot of little functions like iron bars and that sort of thing to add some more uh, sciency details. Let's see real quick what we got: some iron bars and some iron blocks. I want to add something that looks kind of like a generator on the side over here, maybe a couple of generators, if you could call it that. Maybe we'll have that right there. And then maybe we'll have another one right here that goes up a tiny bit taller. I wonder what other people are gonna do for sci-fi as well. It's always interesting to see how where, where people's minds go to when, when playing these sorts of games. I think I will make this building just a tiny bit smaller, but I think I wanna add a tower also. Yeah, it's been so long since I've played this game and hopefully my skills have increased. For those of you who've been watching in the past, uh, my past videos and everything, you guys can tell me if I've been doing a little bit better or if I've been doing worse. Hopefully I'll be doing better though. Let's go ahead. I want to do an interior too, but my interiors always take so, so very, very long to design. So I don't know if we're actually going to get to that part or not, but I can start creating a bit of a tower because anything with a tower looks better in Minecraft. Let's go ahead and add another one of these black kind of layers. I really do wish we had the concrete. I don't know why they haven't added the concrete or, or if, I don't know why they haven't added it yet. They probably just haven't updated the actual server or anything. But I really wish I did have the concrete because I like white concrete. It's very, very futuristic the way it looks. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna get some fence out as well. Maybe some dark oak fence so that we can put something that looks more, oh, oh no. That's not the greatest start. I was really hoping that these iron bars would just be a single bar. Let's go ahead. I, oh my gosh, I forget. There's some glitches too in this game where you can't put fence on top of each other. I don't know if that's just for me or not. If you guys play this game, you can let me know down below if that same thing happens for you. Oh, look at that, there we go. Now we got the iron bar going up. I'll add a couple of these guys too, just because I'm not really sure what to do. How much time do I got? I, oh, I still got plenty of time, yeah. We're doing good on time, guys. We're doing good, we're doing good. Okay, there we go. It could be the fact that I'm playing in 1.15 too that could be messing with this somewhat, because I know that this isn't, ooh, 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 ooh. We can't use that trapdoor. Gosh, dang it, I feel like I'm limited on blocks. I have no idea what blocks I can use and what blocks I can't, this is weird. Let's go ahead and add some trapdoors around that just to add a tiny bit more detail. But yeah, I, I don't really know what blocks we can and can't use, so I'm just gonna keep trying to figure that out as we go along. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I really do. Uh, they're, they're, they're a test of how fast you can go and how much you can design kind of on the fly, and I like that. I like that because it's a very good challenge 
doesn't really help me in the long run if I want to make good tutorials because those take a lot of time to design and everything. But you know, it's 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 not bad. I, I don't know. Ooh, shift click mob to attach leads. Interesting. Okay, so we got this little bit of a sci-fi kind of lab look going on over here. I think what I'll do is I'll have this go down just a little bit to make that look more sci-fi-esque. And what I want to do is kind of add an observatory on top as well, which again, I don't know if I'll have enough time to do all the detail I want to do, but this is just kind of what's coming to my head as we are building. Let's get some glass out. And you know what? We need some color that puts a little bit of contrast. I'm going to use light blue glass. I don't know why, but I think light blue would be a good color for observatory up here. And maybe underneath we can put some cool looking block. I, I, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe some terracotta or something like that. Just to... Hmm. You know what? I'm going to do... I'm just going to go with this black terracotta. Which again, I wish it was black concrete because that would be a lot nicer. This way I don't actually have to make an entrance up to the observatory that I'm building right now. Although this will be a rather small observatory because I don't have the most amount of time. That's looking good, except I'm going to surround it with iron blocks instead. I think that would look like a, bit, a little bit better. And then we'll figure out what to do from there. I think... If, ooh, that's a good idea. Uh, smooth stone blocks, I feel like, would be used a lot in this type of setting, in this type of sci-fi setting. So let me go ahead and get some smooth stone slabs out. Whew, which we cannot build with that either. Let me see what slabs we can use. Goodness gracious, guys, this is... This is driving me crazy. Andesite, nope. Uh, what about, uh, can I use any slabs at all? Because I know oak slabs have been there from the beginning. Yeah, you can use oak slabs. What about stone slabs? Yes, there we go. Okay, we're gonna, ooh, ooh, what is this? It is transporting into, oh, that is so weird. I hope I'm not the only one seeing this right now, but it looks like these slabs are turning into smooth stone slabs. Again, it could be just because I'm in 1.15. I might need to fix that next time I play this game. <laughs> if, if I ever do play this game again, that is. Uh, but it looks like it's working now, which is good. That's always good. I forgot that they were called stone slabs originally too. That's one of the things I totally forgot about in the past. Ooh, four minutes remaining. Okay. So I think, do we want to keep building the exterior up or do we want to do something more interior based? I'm not 100% sure. Let me add just a few iron blocks back here just because we want this a generator look right here. Maybe one going up just a little bit taller than the other two. And then we'll have some trap doors surrounding it as well. Ooh, which my trap doors are starting to... What the heck? They are disappearing. What if I put them on these blocks right here? Will that work? Whoa, you guys are seeing these weird glitches. I should not have played in 1.15 because I think it's messing me up a little bit. Let's get some lava out and put them right there. I'm not sure why, but, uh, you know, it, it could add a cool little bit of flair. I'm not sure. Add some iron bars maybe as well and make this a single iron bar with a fence on top right there. Okay. What else do we want to add? Do we want to add any, I, I don't think any foliage is really needed too much, but let's go ahead and get some sea lanterns. Hopefully those are a thing. Yes, they are. I'm going to go stick these in the corners. Oop, three minutes remaining. And as for interior, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do. Huh. Let's go ahead and get the floor first. We're going to get some stone out and start replacing that. Or actually, let me get some smooth stone. Or will that work? That will not work. Um, We'll just get stone slabs and put those down as the top half of the floor so we can start getting that down but we are running out of time gradually so yeah this is this is the fun part of of build battles too all the glitches and weirdness that's going on right now i love that not not really actually i just realized i kind of want to change this to grass block because i feel like that will look a little bit better hopefully that won't change my entire floor though or will it oh no it did it did change the whole floor okay we got to work a little bit faster I don't know if this is going to have any interior or not, or at least a good interior. I feel like if I got some iron trap doors, I can at least use these as some shelves or something like that. But I won't have enough time to put all the detail I would like to put. Oh no, yeah, because it is counting down pretty darn quick. Let's start replacing this right here. I think on the outside, what I might do is I might just turn it into some like grass blocks or something like that too. Let's break all the blocks first. That will be a little bit better. Whew, the time is going down and we are still not anywhere close to what I want. Oh no, I wish we had more time to design this sort of thing, but I'm always so, so rushed on time and it takes me forever to build because I'm not the fastest builder at all. Let's keep breaking this floor. It's going to be interesting to see what other people do, you know, maybe if they build like a robot, because that would be sci-fi, wouldn't it? Robots aren't like really, I mean, they, they are real, but they're not like to the extent of movies that they, they, they portray them as or anything like just, just yet at least. 
I think what I might do is I might go for a minimalist interior and use andesite, polished andesite, if we can. I don't know if that's in this version or not. We'll have to see. But just to add some countertops and some, something like that, you know? I, I don't know if we're going to get it or not. But let's see. Let's get some andesite. Polished. Let's see. Oh, thank God. Thank God it worked. And we'll add some countertops in here. Maybe if we get a few cauldrons and some water. Okay. This is, this is, this is, I've got an idea forming and some hoppers and some brewing stands as well. We are, we are getting, we are getting dangerously close. Let's put a hopper in the middle of this guy right here. Another, or not a hopper, but a cauldron. Let's get some hoppers on the ceiling looking like they are being sciencey. And then we'll get some of these guys, stick these up here for more decorations. We'll get some pots. Woo, 30 seconds remaining. Oh, and we're not gonna be able to place those on trapdoors for some reason. So now that we got that, let's go ahead and fix the rest of this entrance, which, let me place my iron blocks down, please. <laughs> oh my gosh. We'll replace this with some iron blocks as well. And I think that might just be about what we're gonna do. Maybe I'll get some iron bars too. Go across the bottom and then get some bone meal if we can. We're not gonna have enough time. I guess we're about to see what happens. Okay, I'm I'm proud of my little sci-fi. This is a turd, a weird, a weird turd face. I'm gonna vote okay, but I really don't know what it is. I I, I don't know where you were going for. Oh, ET, ET, that's what it is. I'll I'll give that okay still. Yeah, no, actually, I'll, I'll do good. That's that's so creative. I like that sci-fi ET with, with the little finger right there. It took me a second, but I did understand it eventually. <laughs> Well, what about our next build? What, about, what do we got here? Some random portals, doors. I'm sorry, guys. I'm giving this a super poop just because I, there's there's no creativity. There's some random players. There's some ne end portals, and then nether portals. I, I don't know. It's just so, so random, and I don't like it that much. But, you know, every once in a while, we'll get some builds like this, too. They're not always the greatest, but, you know, that's all right. Okay, let's see. Let's see our next guy. What's, what do we got next? What do we got next? Let's see. Um... Right here, we've got some, ooh, I'm guessing this is an alien with some antenna and then some floating green orbs around it too. I'm gonna give it a good as well. It is very original, uh, with, with the alien at least, with this design. I've never seen an alien with this sort of design and these weird antlers, but it, it's interesting too, with the orbs floating. Kind of reminds me of Groot, if you guys are Marvel fans, when Groot like has all those weird floating things inside of him when he wraps around all the, uh, the guardians. Ooh, here's mine my little sci-fi laboratory. I don't know what people are gonna be voting, but I even got an interior in there. So it's it's not too bad. I will say, I wish I could have added more detail. I just didn't have enough time, but it turned out all right, I would say. Yeah, 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 all right is definitely good. Let's see what these people think. I wish I could have done the bone meal, maybe some trees around too, but you know, that's all right. No, nobody's commenting too. There's a lot of people not chatting. Usually there's a lot of people chatting. This one right here, uh, UFO abducting zombies, okay, and then we got, it uh, looks like a TIE fighter zombie trying to save his pals. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll give it an okay. It's very interesting, and I can definitely tell what they're trying to do. It looks like zombies versus creepers, so I will say it's very original. I like that, but as for the glass going up, I, I don't really like the, the way that looks with the glass panes. The glass panes act weird in this version too, though. I don't know. Over here, ooh, the lag right there. Goodness gracious. I have no idea what this is gonna be. I'm gonna give it a poop because I honestly don't know. Some guy floating in lava. Maybe the eye of Sauron <laughs> looking at Frankenstein right there. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't tell you guys for the life of me what this is though, see? That, that's one thing I hate. If you cannot tell what it is, then there's no point in voting for it. You know, I'm voting good for it because you can't tell what it is. You don't know, you have no idea. Okay, the lag once again, and oh my goodness. We have got a bicycle here, so. I don't know how much side. Oh, oh, and there's ET on the top. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm giving that an epic right there with the bicycle and ET. That is very creative. I like that so very, very much. And even though it wasn't completed, this wheel over here, that is such a cool and original idea. I think this guy deserves to win. I think he did better than me. I really do. Originality wise, that, I, I wasn't the most original, but it looks like I got seventh place. Oh my goodness. Comment down below if you guys think I deserve seventh place. I think I deserved a little bit better than that at least. But, but this guy definitely deserved to win. That was so original and so, so very creative. I love that. With that said, I will skip the waiting so you once again don't have to see, because as you can see, I'm one of 16 players. It's gonna take a while and I'll be back. All right, and the options are a uh, futuristic house, circus, talent show. I, man, I didn't get a chance to do that. That, that stinks. What the heck? <laughs> 
Man, man, waiting was so long too. Oh my goodness, guys, that took a very long time to wait. But I guess we're doing the Caribbean, so obviously I'm gonna do a little bit of a sea-themed guy. And I think what we can do is I'm gonna try to go more agricultural, more um, of this sort of biome build than I would necessarily building. I might try to get it like a ship in here too or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do just yet or maybe even an island, but I do like the idea of doing some biome thing because I am very good at terraforming. I think, ooh, let's add a few more blocks right there and add these cool rock things jutting out of the out of the water. I think that would be a cool start to start with the Caribbean. I wonder if we have sponges and not sponges, but um, what are those one guys called? The Coral, coral reefs. I wonder if we have any of those around, because if we do, I would love to use them, but if not, that's understandable too. Ooh, that would be such a cool idea if we had kind of a broken ship coming out of a rock, a huge one, and we had these little ones around too and everything. Maybe, maybe every once in a while I could jut in some of these guys too, because we do have a lot of time, but I don't know if we have enough time to do something that crazy. So let's go ahead and, you know, we'll never know, we'll never know unless we actually start building the rock up. So I'm gonna start spamming a ton of blocks down. Not how I would usually do terraforming. Usually terraforming is a process of going out and checking to make sure that the blocks are looking good and adding a few here, there, or a few there where they look like they need to be added. But with the amount of time that we have, sometimes this is the best idea to do is just to spam some blocks and hope for the best. So I will try to take a step to look back just a little bit. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm liking the way this is looking. And then maybe we can do one of those stereotypical chips, ships. I'll try to replicate kind of like what they do in Minecraft, the, the generated, automatic generated ships. I'll try to replicate those just a little bit. Imagine if you could do this with Blackstone, if this was updated to 1.0, oh my goodness, with black stone coming out of the thing and everything. I was actually thinking for a while too. After my vacation to Florida, there was a lot of ships down in Florida, a lot of cool older ships too that we got to see some pirate related, related stuff, that sort of thing. And it was, I was thinking it would be really cool if I did a mega world, kind of like my alien, alien video. If you guys haven't seen that, I definitely recommend checking it out. But I thought it would be very cool if I could do something like that, a pirate themed world, whether it's skulls and shipwrecks and, and some crazy stuff like that. But but I never got around to it. Um, and, and that's just because I haven't had the most time lately. School is starting up again for a lot of you guys. And for me, I'm, I'm doing a lot of online classes for Columbia State Community College. Ooh, I don't, I might blur that out. You, you guys should know what college I'm going to. <laughs> but I think, you know, I, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And, um, or that, that is what's happening. And so I just haven't had the most time to do that sort of fun stuff. Okay, we have got a rock up and looking pretty good. I think I'm gonna go for just a regular oak kind of ship, and we're gonna look like it, like it's kind of shattered. I want it to be, hmm, I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna do this just yet, but Caribbean, you think of sea, that's what I think of at least. People might be doing like Pirates of the Caribbean or something like that. Not 100% sure what people are gonna be doing, but maybe if we get this little bit of a, I don't know what that's what we would be called, the hole maybe, and we'll just start building up the ship and then we'll actually break it down. So we're actually gonna make just a regular looking ship at first, and then we're gonna try to break it down to make it look more, to make it look like it was actually wrecked. We'll get some slabs as well, because those help out a lot when doing this sort of thing. So we can get that nice looking front of the ship going on. And then we'll add these right here. I think a good way to go is to actually get some coal blocks. No, you know what, I've got a better idea, because we are in this version. I'm gonna right click this, and we're just gonna get, not plot weather, but if we go to color, which I'm starting to, there we go, color and black. We can go ahead and put these right here to make it look like we got some cannons on the ship. There we go. That is a cool detail. Definitely worth that little bit of a waste of time that I got going on. But let's go ahead and maybe we'll have a sail right here, but we do want it to look like, a, it's a little bit shattered just because the whole ship is falling apart, obviously. This whole ship is just kind of collapsing. And maybe we can even add some blocks flying into the air or something like that to make it look like the whole thing is just kind of shattering apart, you know, like as it's flying through the air, as it's wrecking into this rock sort of thing. Let's put some random blocks up in the air like so. And as you can see, that's that's exactly what I wanted to do. That's perfect, it adds a tiny bit of momentum, which is perfect for these types of builds because it gives you something, something more to look at than just the actual ship itself. Once again, we'll have a little bit more of the mast right here too. This is gonna, this is gonna look good. I, I swear, guys. I, I think we're actually gonna win this one too. Ooh, not right there, but maybe. I think, I think we have actually have a decent chance. We'll break some of these and get some stairs as well to add more wreckage to the actual ship itself, to make it kind of look like it's ooh, it's, it's starting to break, broke into the rock. 
Reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean, actually. It's been a while since I've seen that movie, but you know, good movie, all nonetheless. Let's get some spruce planks. And we will start wrapping around right here to get a nice little bit of a floor. We might break some of these too as well, just to make them a bit more damaged, a bit more realistic, because the whole ship would probably go down in all honesty if you were to crash into a rock this big. Obviously, uh, most ships, there, there are a lot of ships that crash and stuff. So, you know, we, we have some real life stuff to go off based off of. Let's go ahead. Titanic, big example right there too, with ships crashing into icebergs and stuff like that. Man, that's one of the saddest things I've ever heard too. I actually went in, um, in, in, in the US, there are some of these like things called Ripley Museums, believe it or not, whatever. And in one of them we went and there was this water place, this place where you could feel how cold the water was that actually happened in the Titanic. And my gosh, guys, when you put your finger in that and you feel that water and you feel how cold it is, knowing that people got stuck in that, it, it's one of the more sad things in life. But I'm not doing this video to, to make you guys sad, I'm doing it to entertain. So I gotta, I gotta shy away from that type of stuff. Let's put some fence here and maybe a few more fence right there. Get rid of this extra water floating for some reason. And it definitely does look like the ship accidentally wrecked and started to break. And we still got a bit of time left too. This is good. This is good because last time I feel like we kind of ran out of time just a little bit. I was doing the interior and it was starting to look good and then I, I just ran out of time. Let's get a sail on and make it look a little bit ragged, a little bit, I don't know exactly. I, th I like the white sail just because most ships I feel like back then had this sort of white just flaggy sail and I wish I could get it looking more breezy but again doing these sort of these types of things these like geometric not geometric but like kind of natural curvy shapes it's hard to do in a limited amount of time but this is looking pretty good so far I'm not I'm not minding this too much maybe get the post extended right there and we got the sail on the ship and you know what I'm gonna add some slabs there and there Ooh, not right there but maybe like that there we go. That's looking like a good ship, like it's exploding. I like that a lot. Okay. I wonder what other people are going to do for Caribbean too. Ooh, that reminds me. Coral blocks. Can we use coral blocks? No, we cannot. Okay. Then let's add some seagrass at least. Can we? No, no, no seagrass either. Gosh, dang. That limits a lot of the ocean stuff because this is, oh, 1.15. We do have a lot of the ocean stuff and we can't use it. Gosh, dang it. Let's go ahead and add more of these kind of rock outcroppings, which this one might not be 100% finished, but that's okay. I think the other players will leave me be considering how much I'm trying to fit into this small amount of time. That's one thing too. It annoys me when there's not complete builds, but at the same time, with the amount of time that you have, you gotta be a little bit, a little bit more on the compassionate side. Unless it's something stupid, something small and stupid that you should have been able to finish. And it's like, okay, what the heck? You should have been able to finish that, you know? Let's go ahead and add a few more rock outcroppings. And I do want to add, ooh, Let's get our water out to fix that up. I do want to add some rocks right here because it looks like the ship was starting to hit this and just getting stuck in that current. Maybe maybe the, the captain wanted to save everyone because they were being um, boarded by pirates or something like that. And, and by crashing the ship, he knew he would drown the pirates but kill them as well, I don't know. Something, something along those lines. You guys are creative. Come, come up with a story for this crashed ship, this, this shipwreck, this unfortunate event. And I think it would be cool if while we're here, we also get some sand out and create maybe a little bit of an island over here in this corner, just because it shows how close these sailors were to land. Ooh, that's a, that's a good idea too. We'll add a bit of an island, which again, I'm gonna span some blocks so that we can get this right here. And then maybe we'll have a rowboat too, which I don't know exactly how we would do the rowboat just yet, but I have some ideas to do that. So let's start putting this down and we're gonna get some rowboats out here. So we'll, we'll go ahead and get some slabs out and we'll need our water as well to fill up this one spot that we just broke right here. We'll put a slab right there, replace this with water, and have this right here with some signs. And if we put the signs, oh, no, 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 you're kidding me. Don't, don't, don't tell me that. Don't tell me you can't use signs. What about oak signs? Yes, okay, we can use oak signs. We'll have these oak signs kind of going around, creating a little bit of a rowboat illusion. I don't know how to do, put the NPCs down because I wish I could put them down on this right here, but at the t as at, you know, for the time being, I think that's say that's pretty good having a little bit of a robot right there to make it look like we escaped. And maybe we'll, we'll even have a chest right here with some treasure. You know what? Let me do this. I'm gonna get some diamond blocks and sparse them around. Ooh, you can't put them in there. Okay, never mind. This is looking good. I think if I had enough time, I think I could have made this look absolutely beautiful. I think this was having I was having so much fun with this. I still am having fun with it too. But now we've got a minute remaining. So I'm trying to think of what other details we could add just to spruce it up a little bit, make it a bit more life. Tell me if you guys think this was the original idea. What, what, what are your ideas for, for doing a kind of Caribbean themed build? I think that this was a very fun and fluid, energetic, kinetic build with all the 
you know, wood breaking from the ship and all these rocks and, and, and the rowboat going down so that people are trying to live. I think this was very fun. I think it's cool. Let me get some. Huh. What else could we add? What else could we add? What else could we add? You know what? I don't know if we have enough time, but I'm going to try to add a jungle or, or not a jungle, but a palm tree. So we, if we get this kind of crooked looking shape right here and then we get some leaves on top, it's going to be kind of boring leaves. I'm not going to lie. And I'm not going to have time to make them the most exciting. But if we do this right now, I think that looks pretty darn good. I don't know. What do you, what do you guys think? I think that actually turned out pretty well. Okay. So this guy went for a ship as well. But all he did was a ship and I feel like the sails, I'm gonna give it okay, okay? Because I did think of the same idea. I don't think my idea for a ship with the Caribbean was very original, but you know, oh, poor guy, time for me to lose. You, you don't know, buddy, you don't know. You might do good. All right, so this one's all right though. I do like the sails and I think we might've lagged out just a little bit. No, everyone just paused for a second, what the heck? That was all right though, that's not too bad. Uh, for this guy, he did the same thing as me. We got a pirate ship with a little bit of an island and, and this ship right here. Once again, I'm gonna give it an okay. I think my ship might have turned out a little bit better. I don't wanna, I don't wanna sound like, you know, I'm, I'm being too braggy or, you know, because no one likes that. But I think I added a bit more detail than this guy managed to in his, in his amount of time. Okay, let's see what the next build is. Gara, I, I appreciate the pirate flag. I do appreciate that very much. <laughs> So this is mine. I wonder what people are thinking of this. I think it turned out pretty great. I like the rowboat and I like the kinetic and how it looks just so fluid. It looks like everything is happening at once with this big rock with it crashing into. And I'm proud of this. I, I'd say out of my build battles, this is one of my better builds I've done. I really, really appreciate, well, not appreciate. I really like how this looks. Okay. So that, that was me, that was me, yep. We got over here just an island with some jungle trees and a bunch of these blocks. These are special blocks and particle effects. I'm gonna give it a poop. I and, and the reason behind that is because he's got these random particle effects, but that's not detail. That's just that, that's that's laziness right there. And with these trees, you can literally just bone meal them and just put a bunch of sand down. So I don't I really don't think it was the greatest. I'm sorry, Melody, fairy tale, but I was not the biggest fan of that at all. Let's see what the next one is. And oh my gosh, this guy put a lot of sand and some water down. And then we got this really, really cool pirate. I'm giving that one a good because I love how this pirate guy looks. Oh my goodness, with the buttons and the eyes and the banners. It is very, very creative. I have to say, I would I would be totally fine losing to this gentleman right here. Or, or woman, I don't know who it is. Or kid, <laughs> really. <laughs> that one looks amazing though. I really, really like that one right there. Okay, let's see the next one. And this next one. I'm immediately giving it a super poop because all it is is spam and to make the server lag a bit more. I do not like it at all and I can't even tell what it is. If you guys think I'm being too harsh, let me know that down in the comments below, but I think I'm pretty just when I say that this looks like trash. <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to be savage or anything else. I just, I just don't like it at all because you can't tell what it is at all. Okay, let's move on to the next one. If there is another player, I don't know how many players there was this, was this round. This guy's got a little villager and he's on his ship. Sail the next to an island. I'll be having okay. This is villager number nine. <laughs> if you guys have seen villager news, you'll know exactly the voice I was doing right there. I, I can do it pretty well, I'd say. My little brother, Pizza Boss 43, he can do a mad, awesome villager news voice. And if you guys haven't seen that, I recommend checking it out because they're very funny videos. Okay, and let's move on to the next one. If there is one as well, let's see. Ooh, ooh, this lag spike is already hitting me pretty darn hard. Okay. It's watermelons on top of grassland. Is there is there a way we can go down? Ooh, right over here, we can actually go down and see what's below. Whoa, okay, this is... How the heck did... Yeah, yeah, right, you did not build this in that amount of time. I'm giving it a super poop. Because there's no way they built this. They just copy and pasted a bunch of stuff. I think that was... that was That's garbage. Okay, we got some sheep surrounding a big sheep with a scoreboard over there. This is a very... <laughs> Interesting bill. I'm gonna give it a poop just because it looks like a lot of spam. Maybe it's water sheep. Maybe that's water sheep up there <laughs> Or something like that. I don't I don't know. It's so weird though, and they're all just sitting staring in the same direction. It's very 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 strange. I would have to say myself. Okay, let's see what the next one is if there is one or not Oh, and the winner is this guy right here comment down below if you guys think I should have won or if you guys think that this man deserved it. I personally think that I might have deserved the win, but I could be biased because it is me. So comment down below with what you guys thought, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let's go ahead and teleport back to the lobby real quick so I can do my outro for you guys, right? Always got to have an outro to a video and an intro. 
All right, we are back, even though it's lagging really bad. If you guys like this video and want to see more like it, comment down below and let me know because I really do enjoy doing these videos. They're always fun and they're always a good challenge. But if you guys would rather me get back to my building tutorials, I'm sorry, I just didn't have enough time. And I thought this would be a quick and easy breeze, kind of a fun video to do though as well because I, I, I had a lot of fun with it. And I think my ship turned out really cool. I do think I deserve that win still. <laughs> So comment down below if you guys think I did. And with that said, I don't have much else to say. I'll see you guys in the next one. And hopefully it will be a build tutorial for you guys. But with that said, I'll see you guys soon. And ciao.